Hello friends, welcome back. Today we are going to understand another important concept from the Lean Six Sigma. Today's topic is from the concept hypothesis testing. As a part of this hypothesis testing, we are going to learn today what is a null hypothesis and alternate hypothesis, what is the difference between them and what is their importance with the help of practical example. So let's begin. As always, let's start from the basics. Let's first understand what is the meaning of this word hypothesis. Hypothesis are any statements or assumptions about the situations. For example, the problem occurs more frequently on Friday. So this is our assumptions or we can say our hypothesis, right? The second one is fluctuating supply quality causes the problem. That means the root cause of the problem may be with the fluctuating supply. Machine A is better than machine B. Again, this is our hypothesis or assumption. Out of 10 operators, the performance of one operator is poor. There is an improvement in product performance after certain processing or whether the current data is different from the historical value of 85. So there are different kind of assumptions we are having and based on the different kind of assumptions that we are going to test, there are different types of hypothesis testing. Okay. But now today we are going to focus on these two important concepts, null hypothesis and alternative hypothesis. To support our hypothesis or to test our hypothesis with the help of data, we are using statistics. And this tool is called as hypothesis testing. So what is the intent of using hypothesis testing? To make inferences or conclusions about the population based on sample. In other words, we are going to calculate the sample statistics and the sample statistics we are going to compare with the hypothesis value to check our hypothesis. Don't worry, I'm going to explain in simple language with the help of practical example. So this is just an understanding of what is hypothesis. As we are discussing about the hypothesis testing, there are two important hypothesis statements. The first one is called null hypothesis and second one is called as a alternative hypothesis. These are the two mutually exclusive statements about a population. What is the meaning of that? These two are significantly different from one another. Null hypothesis is indicated by H0, whereas alternative hypothesis is indicated as H1 or HJ. Now let's understand each of these hypothesis statements in detail. The first one is null hypothesis. As we had seen, it is expressed as H0 and the expression will be like this H0 colon mu is equal to 85. I will explain this statement in detail once we go for the practical example. But just understand here what is the notations. The meaning of this statement is the population parameter is equal to the hypothesis value. Now this hypothesis value is nothing but the value that we have assumed or that we are going to check. This is often an initial claim that is based on the previous analysis or subject matter experts knowledge. Now let's look at another important statement from this hypothesis testing. This is alternative hypothesis. There are three ways to express this alternative hypothesis. The first one is H1 colon mu is not equal to 85. I will explain this notation in detail once we go for the example, but just understand here it is expressed by H1 colon mu is not equal to 85. The meaning of this notation is a population parameter is different than the hypothesis value in the null hypothesis. Now this is also called as non-directional hypothesis test because we are comparing on both sides whether it is less than or greater than. We are just comparing whether it is different than. That's why it is called as non-directional hypothesis test. It is also called as a two-sided hypothesis test. This test is having the less power compared to one-sided hypothesis test. Now let's look at remaining two statements. H1 colon mu is greater than 85. So this indicates that a population parameter is greater than the hypothesis value in the null hypothesis. And the third statement is H1 colon mu is less than 85. The meaning of this notation is a population parameter is lesser than the hypothesis value in the null hypothesis. Both of these tests are called as a directional hypothesis test. These directional hypothesis tests are also called as one-sided hypothesis test. These are having the more power compared to two-sided hypothesis test, but they cannot detect whether the population parameter differs in the opposite direction. So the depending on the intent, what we want to check, we need to select any one of these alternative hypotheses. After understanding theoretical part of this null hypothesis and alternative hypothesis, let's understand them practically. Let's take an example. 
The historical subject score for the students in the school was 85. But this time, the class teacher randomly selected the 10 students and take their average. Now this time, the average score is 90. Here, the class teacher wants to check whether there is an improvement in the subject score or not. For that purpose, we are going to use hypothesis testing. Now let's understand what is a null hypothesis and alternative hypothesis in this example. Null hypothesis, as we had seen, it is always in equality and it is indicated by h0 colon mu is equal to 85. What is the meaning of this statement? The average subject score for the student in the school is 85. So this is indicating that mean mu is equal to 85. Now let's talk about the alternative hypothesis. There are three types of alternative hypothesis as we had already seen. The first one is h1 colon mu is not equal to 85. The meaning of this notation is the average subject score for the student in the school is different than 85. Another alternative hypothesis can be h1 colon mu is greater than 85. The meaning of this statement is the average subject score for the students in the school is greater than 85. Or we can also have the third alternative hypothesis which is indicated by h1 colon mu is less than 85. The meaning of this notation is the average subject score for the student in the school is lesser than 85. So the depending on the situation, we need to select appropriate alternative hypothesis. If you want to check whether it is significantly different from the null hypothesis, we can use the two-sided hypothesis test. If you want to check whether it is greater than or less than, we need to check one-sided alternative hypothesis test. In short, please remember these two important statements. Null hypothesis will be always in equality. Whatever the sample statistics or population parameter that we want to compare, that we need to put in null hypothesis as equal to. Whereas alternative hypothesis will be reverse of that. It will be talking about it is not equal to, lesser than or greater than the hypothesis value. I'm sure you are having the 100% clarity of these two important concepts. Let's learn another important concept into the next video. At the end of this video, if you found this information useful, then please do not forget to like, comment and subscribe. If you want to learn Lean Six Sigma and Minitab most effectively and practically, then please visit at vijayasabe.co slash join or successfulcareerhub.com slash courses. One more important thing, if you want to support me or appreciate my efforts, you can also join my YouTube channel by clicking the join button at my YouTube channel. By joining this YouTube channel, you are not only supporting me, but also getting an access to the perks that can help you in your career goal. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.